Okay, so in this problem we're told a pilot performs an evasive maneuver by diving vertically at 310 meters per second. If he can withstand an acceleration of 9 Gs without blacking out, at what altitude must he begin to pull out of the dive to avoid crashing into the sea? So we can imagine right here, uh, this is going to be our uh, pilot here, and so they're going to be going down uh, straight, right? So they're going to be diving vertically at 310 meters per second. So they're Linear velocity at this point is uh, 310 meters per second. And so we know in order to not hit the ground, they're going to travel in some circular motion like this, right? Because they can't just go straight down and then just turn like that. So they're going to slow down, or I mean, they're going to basically go like this in a circle to avoid hitting the ground. And so since they're going to go in the circular motion, their height is going to be the distance r. So whatever their height is, is uh, r in this case. And so we know they're going to be traveling in circular motion. And what do we know about circular motion? Well, we know that the centripetal acceleration, which is basically the acceleration in a, a, a of a circle like this, right? When you're going along uh, in circular motion, uh, the formula for it is uh, v squared over r. So as I said before, r is going to be the height. And we know what acceleration they can experience, right? Their centripetal acceleration can be a max of 9 g's. And we know their current speed, right, is 310 meters per second. So if we want to solve for r, all we really got to do is just uh, manipulate it, right, in such a way, right, where we get r a c equals v squared, and then divide by a c. And what you're going to end up with is um, what we need to actually solve. So your radius r, in order to trav travel at some speed velocity, right, this is our velocity, and then this is the max acceleration we can have. Well, that'll give us the radius of the circle required to actually move at this, right? And the radius is the height. So basically, we just got to solve for r by plugging these in. So as I said before, velocity is 310. So we just square it. Uh, a sub c, they tell us the max we can experience for the pilot is 9 g's. Now, what is 1 g? 1 g is equal to 9.8 meters per second squared. So 9 g's. Right, you have 9 g's. You would just say 1 g, right? These would cancel. So you basically just multiply it by 9.8 to get in uh, the correct unit because we need it in meters per second squared. So it's 88.2 meters per second squared. So yeah, it goes right here. So 88.2, uh, you're just taking the velocity since this is our velocity we're traveling. If we can accelerate at the max sp uh, this speed, in order to go in circular motion, uh, right, in order, we, we can find the radius that will fit this, fit this data. And we know the radius is the height they're going to be starting at because they're traveling in an arc like this. So hopefully that makes sense. Uh, but it's just going to be 310 squared divided by 88.2. So about 1089.57. So this is about 1, 2, 3. So 1.1 times 10 to the 3. We're talking about distance here, so it's going to be in meters. Uh, but yeah, so your radius in this case is 1.1 times 10 to the 3 meters, which is going to be the height that they're going to have to start at if they can only have this much acceleration and they're currently going at this velocity in order not to go outside of the circle, right? Because if we accelerated at a less rate than this, then obviously uh, this would have to be bigger. So we would crash. So hopefully that makes sense. Uh, but yeah, so this right here is going to be your answer, 1.1 times 10 to 3 meters, and uh, hopefully you found this video useful.